Alright, we're almost at the beaver dam. And the road is just uh, more open than it used to be. And I'm assuming the forestry come in here and cleared this. And they got a bird nest or a bird house on a pole up here at the beaver dam. Right out in the middle of the water. I don't know what kind of uh, birds they're trying to attract. Curious to see what it, what kind they are. There used to be a lot more water out there in this area. That's where the ducks were that flew up that cold morning when we were riding down here. Not so much water in the woods right now as they used to be. And it's very windy and it feels colder than it is because of the wind. my boy right there. I love my Agilon. A bunch of uh, trees it looks like has blowed down during uh, storms. There's a big one right there that's slowed down. That was actually a pine tree. This road goes further down in the woods than what we're going this morning. And it used to connect to some campsites right along the river, but uh, somebody closed it off where you can't get through to the campsites from here. Wish they'd open it back up so you could make the complete uh, circle around this block. Beautiful woods. My Aunt Edna used to love camping and riding in the woods. She had a school bus, actually three school buses that she converted into campers. And uh, she'd put them all in a U shape at the campsite at Magnolia Landing and then have the campfire in a barrel right in the middle. And uh, our whole family camped up there at Magnolia Landing year after year. During the Christmas holidays, we'd stay like two weeks go over to Sumatra on uh, the weekend and gas up and get uh, drinks and candy bars. <laughs> Grand old time back then. One of my favorite uh, times of my life. All right, we're almost here at the Beaver Dam. Let's see if Agilon will 
let me video this a little bit before he wants to turn around because he knows once we get here we head back home